Joined now by the mighty Janet Todd. Two belts, two world titles. Janet, fantastic performance. How does it feel? <laughs> it feels like a dream come true. I'm super grateful. It must be difficult in there when you're asked in the immediate aftermath how you feel about this, but having had a little bit of time for it to sink in, did it go according to plan for you? How do you feel about how it all went down? You know, it all, <laughs> I was talking about it in the car right over here. You know, I always, you know, visualize the fight going so beautifully, but it never really happens that way. <laughs> but, you know, I'm glad I was able to adapt and, you know, make it happen. It's not your first rodeo. You know how to win these five round wars, but how important was that fifth round for you? What was said on the stool to you and what was going through your mind? Uh, Brian said, I got to go. I got to win this round. So I knew I couldn't just, you know, I don't know what to call it, you know, just kind of wait to see what she throws and kind of play that game. I knew how to come forward and I knew I had to, how to win that round. So that's what I went out and did. How important was your experience here? Did you have flashbacks of previous fights? What were you telling yourself? Uh, definitely not flashbacks of previous fights during the fight. <laughs> um, you know, I, I told myself, you know, I, I trained for this for God knows how long now. And this is what we've been working towards, especially in the last three years, we worked up to this point. So it was my time. So I wanted to go in there and, and give it my all. The most women's wins in one Super Series, the most women's KOs in one Super Series, and as well as being a double champ. So what could possibly be next? It's up to one championship. You know, I want to unify the belts and defend my kickboxing belt. So like I said in the ring, both are in my cards. How proud of you are, are you of those records? And are there other records that you're aware of that you want? You know, I don't, I don't really think about the records, to be honest. You know, I think about what I'm able to accomplish in the ring, you know, what sort of techniques I was able to execute, my growth in my fight IQ and, and stuff like that. I, don't, I, I honestly don't think about the records. I, I just want to keep growing as a fighter and as a martial artist in this, in this art and continue to show, you know, the beauty in it and, you know, the devastating aspects of it too. <laughs> Laura seemed to grow into the fight. She's a debutante. You, you were in her shoes at 1.2. Did you feel the need to assert yourself early on? How did you see her growing into the fight? You know, she, she fought very good. I thought she was a good challenge. I knew she was going to press the pace. Um, I knew she was going to come forward. Uh, it was a tough fight. So, you know, congrats to Laura. Did she surprise you at all? Um... I mean, I kind of, I've seen her other fights where she, you know, did similar things. So I don't know if it's a surprise, but I know, I know at this point, you know, my fights aren't going to be easy. So that wasn't a surprise. Did you feel in control of everything at all times? Were, were there any moments where you were worried it was not going your way? Um, I don't think about that during the fight because it takes me out of the moment. You know, I'm just trying to listen to my coach and trying to see where the openings are at the time. So that's what I'm focused on. Were you shocked at all when they read the result? You, you looked totally shocked when they put the belt on you. I know it was, I know it was close. So I knew it was coming down the last round. Um, I think it's, it's not just, it's not a shock. It's more of like, just, just sheer excitement or just, like, a, you know, when your dream comes true, you're like, oh, my God, it's happened. So that's sort of the reaction that you kind of see out of me when when I'm in there. A lot of achievements in your career, a lot of victories, a lot of great opponents. But where does this rank and you know, having that giant gold belt around your shoulder? <laughs> it's it's going to be one of my fondest moments that I got to share with my coach and Tiki. Like, I, I'm so grateful for them. Um, like I said, I, I, I wouldn't be here, uh, you know, without, without their guidance and their support. And, you know, I'm glad I got to share this moment with them. This sport has a habit of bringing opponents back around to each other and you never know what happens. What do you think of the future for Lara Fernandez? What do you see from her? And do you think you might meet again? 
yeah, there's always a possibility of that. I mean, I fought Stamp twice. Um, I think she has a, a bright future ahead of her. She's she's so young. <laughs> she's a tough girl. Do you have a message for Alicia Rodriguez? Yeah, I mean, Alicia, hope you know everything's going well. Hope you're recovering and getting back into training. You know, can't wait to meet you in the in the circle. Other than Rodriguez, who else is on your radar? Uh, of course, you know, Anissa Mexen is on my radar as well. If it were up to you, who's next? Mm, that's a hard one. You know, I definitely would like to unify the belts, um, especially since this is an interim and it'd be, it'd be cool to actually, you know, be able to get the world title from Alicia. Are you prepared to defend both belts kind of simultaneously? And how do you feel about having two targets on your back right now? Do you relish that in a way? Yeah, <laughs> don't we all? That's why we're here. You spoke about a Grand Prix, which I thought was very cool this week. Have you spoken to anyone else about that? Is that could that happen? Are you pushing for that one? I, I've mentioned it a couple times, but we'll see if it sticks. We have a pretty good division here, so. I don't know if you uh, were probably still on cloud nine when it was happening, but did you catch Rainier's fight? He's a fellow double belt holder, so you have something in common with him now. No, I didn't get a chance to catch it. I, I don't even know the results. How'd it oh, go? He got, he got an early submission in the first round against Vitaly Big Dash. Um, well, we're very excited for you. Very excited to have you. Uh, what do you think about the prospect of defending those belts then on uh, prime video now that we have the opportunity for a massive audience in America. Yeah, that'd be that'd be awesome. I mean, I'm I'm an American, and you know, it's catering to some U.S. you know U.S. audience. So I'd like to be part of that as well. Well, tonight, a very special piece of history for JT. More history to be made, I'm sure. Massive congratulations. Good to see you. Thank you. Thank you so much.